everyone, welcome to another project video. In this week's project, we are going to explore what's happening right outside our window. Seasons are changing. Do you know which season I'm talking about? I am talking about fall, also known as autumn. It's one of the four seasons of the year, and it's that time of the year when it transitions from summer to winter. Along with the tree leaves changing colors, the temperature grows colder, plants stop making food, animals prepare for the long months ahead, and the daylight starts growing shorter. We're also going to pay attention to the colors that we use. Let's learn about warm colors and cool colors. Warm colors consist of orange, red, and yellow and combinations of these similar colors. As the name indicates, they tend to make you think of warm things, such as sunlight and heat. Warm colors are often associated with happy and joyful emotions. They are linked to fire, daytime, and summer and autumn. Cool colors are typified by blue, green, and light purple. They can calm and suit. They remind you of water and sky and even ice and snow. Cool colors can be used to express sadness, calmness, tranquil emotions. They can be linked to winter months and the night time. So gather up a white paper pencil, eraser, a black marker, and some color markers. Are you ready? Let's make! To begin, let's place our open hand right in the middle of the paper. We're going to trace all around our hand and fingers and even our arm. We are making a tree out of the silhouette of our hand. So our arm is going to be the tree trunk and our fingers will be the branches. Once you are done tracing your hand, let's go ahead and draw a big circle on the top of the paper, wrapping around all your fingers and palm of the hand. And to make my fingers look like actual branches and not like fingers, I'm going to make longer lines at the very top. So I'm going to make them long but also pointy at the end. Next, let's trace with the black marker what we have so far. The hand, that is now a tree, and the big circle on the back. Do you remember texture? Well, trees have lots of texture. So to add it, we're simply going to draw squiggly lines in all parts of the tree. They're going to follow the vertical direction, so they're going to go upwards. And I'm even drawing a hole in the center and then coloring all black. Maybe I'll have a squirrel living there. Once you are done tracing your hand and adding the texture of your tree, let's erase all of those little extra pencil lines that we can still see, just to make sure our project looks very clean. Now let's remember some of the lines that we have been learning. We're going to use the curved lines and the straight lines. Inside of that circle that we drew, we're going to draw all of our curved lines. More like arch. Imagine like you're drawing a circle, but only half of it. So those. Fill up the circle, even if they're uh, all on top of each other. Then for outside the circle, we're going to add all kinds of straight lines. So you can add horizontal, vertical lines, and lots of diagonal lines. I use the ruler to help me, but you can use whatever you have to make it easier for you. And we have finally come to my favorite part, the color time part. Let's color our tree trunk first. Now, remember our little talk about warm colors and cool colors? Well, it's time to use our new knowledge. We are going to represent a fall tree. And like we said, during fall season, 
trees start to lose their leaves, but before they fall, they turn yellow and orange, sometimes red, and once they're dry, they go brown. Hey, those are all the warm colors. So let's color everything inside of the circle with all warm colors. So let me show you a little trick that I like. So I use one color at a time and I color lots of little shapes with that same color. I just make sure not to color shapes that are close to each other or that they're touching each other. More like sprinkle it all around. Then I grab my next color and then I sprinkle it some more. And I do that until I have my whole area colored complete. For the outside, because on fall, it starts getting a little bit colder, we're going to, yep, you guessed it, we're going to use all of our cool colors. We'll do some of that same sprinkling technique that I showed you with the warm colors, switching colors until the whole area is covered and trying my best not to color two shapes next to each other with the same color. And that is it, my friends. We have completed a lovely picture of a tree going through the change of season. So beautiful. Once again, I thank you for allowing me in your time and your space. And I thank you for creating with me. I'll see you again next week. Bye.